Well, hey, Cancer. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do your last reading for December, for 2020, actually. So this is a uh, pretty um, momentous, right? Um, so what we're going to do is just go ahead and get some cards, and then we're going to pull a few Oracle cards at the end. And then we will see you guys. I will see you guys next year. So let's go ahead and get started. Cancer, see what we have for you. Well, we got this one. This is the one that flipped. <laughs> we got a whole lot of them that fell over here, though. All right. So let's go ahead and get some more for you, Cancer. Okay. So I definitely see here there's going to be a love situation happening for you in 2020. Again, I think I'm not even sure if I even told you guys. You know, a lot of this stuff is going to happen throughout 2020. It's not going to happen right away. Um, and, and plus, this is also energy that's sitting on you right now. So a lot of the things that you're feeling, that you're thinking about, um, a lot of things that are going to be happening to you, um, you're going to see in your readings, okay? Um, I see that a lot of you guys are hoping to get be in a committed relationship. Um, some of you guys are going to be signing contracts to, you know, be business owners and, you know, making, you know, commitments, okay? You know, 2020 was pretty rough, but... Here with um, with you guys, I definitely see that you guys are doing research, partnering up with people. I also see that you guys have had so much patience when it came down to business and your job. Also with people, with lovers. Okay, so going into 2021, okay, there is going to be a lot of um, things that you guys are going to have on the forefront of your mind that you want to do. And one of those things is having someone to share your life with, okay? So let's go ahead and get one more card for this first row. Ooh, yes, Cancer. So I was just talking about commitment here with the Ace of Pentacles. You guys are going to be facing huge opportunities in 2021. Um, right at the bottom of the deck, some of you guys have been so conflicted. You know, maybe you guys are in a competitive field when it comes down to career or work. Uh, but you guys are going to win, okay? Like, you know, even mentally trying to fight your way through everything you've been through in 2020, you know, you guys have fought your way through and here is your big gift <laughs> with the Ace of Pentacles. So you guys are going to be doing good. Again, you know, the Ace of Pentacles also talks about commitments. It talks about long-term committed relationships. It's a huge opportunity for many reasons, Cancer. So let's go ahead and get another roll for you. Thank you. Okay, this came out first. Oh, yes, here with the full card, just new opportunities in general. And then, you know, having a reason to celebrate. It's like all of this stuff is going to start happening. See here, with having patience and the page of source talk about looking into things. Also talks about communication. Um, and with that being said, there's going to be offers. There's going to be things that, you know, uh, reasons to move quickly and, and make decisive uh, decisions. Um, so, I, I, you know, I, I definitely see there's going to be a lot going on um, here. Uh, the full card represents new beginnings, the so three of cups, reunions for some of you, having reasons to celebrate for, you know, all of you guys. Um, here with the lover's card, with the ace of pentacles, this is just amazing to see cancer. It really is. Yes. Okay. The world card. Your world is going to look different. It's going to feel differently. A lot of you guys haven't been in connections and relationships that you wanted for so long. And a lot of you guys are going to be going into these strong connections with people. Again, some of you guys are reconnecting. This could be, you know, meeting people at your job or whatever you guys are doing. Um, it, it's something new and it's going to be huge opportunities for you. Here at the bottom of the deck, the page of wands represents a spark communication, inspiration. So, you know, anything that you've been feeling 
because of 2020, you know, it's not saying that you're going to go into 2021 not having any issues. That's just not the case. But it does represent something fresh. And we definitely see that with the full card. Something fresh. Yes, that's going on. <laughs> and the world card here represents your view of the world. Um, you know, the way your world will feel. And also someone who looks at you like you are their world and you're theirs. Okay. So it's going to be really nice. And it's not just talking. Okay. Because you know, it's going to be something real just because of that ace of pentacles so huge opportunities here for you cancer okay here with the moon card you know the moon card represents illusions thinking that things are not going to happen when it is right above your head here is um you know those huge opportunities also talks about you know um being relieved um over sadnesses so some of you guys have been feeling depressed have been feeling sad all of that is going to be reversed and this is talking about moving into a more peaceful state of mind um again i also feel that maybe possibly someone that you guys have dealt with in the past may want to come in and make peace with you this could be a lover this could be friends this could be family so i feel like things are going to kind of you know uh change a little for you and it could be just because maybe they've missed you. you you know we've been going through a lot so maybe it's kind of like man you know i want to turn over a new leaf i want to do things different in 2021 is what i'm kind of seeing here okay so we're going to go ahead and get some oracle cards for you let me use some small ones that I have here. Cancer. All right. One more, and then we're going to just pull from the top, Cancer, okay? for cancer here let's get a few here it says 10 of gabriel which is the 10 of wands it says you know when when things are too heavy the 10 of wands represents you know of course loads heavy loads being put on your shoulder things of that nature this is a time to ask for help but i feel like there's going to be relief okay it, it isn't a beautiful card to see going into 2021 because it's like you, you know we're trying not to go into 2021 with those heavy burdens okay so the whole purpose is to be able to relieve those heavy burdens off of you. Some of you guys are working too hard, working too much, trying to forget things. You know, try not to try not to please other people too. You know, overextending yourself. So now this is a time to start thinking about you and not be, um, you know, so burdened down by you know many things, love, feelings, thoughts, all of that. Okay. Here, the five of Raphael, which is a five of cups, talks about regret and disappointments here. It says that everything happens for a reason, so release regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness, okay? So there's always a similar lining in everything. So don't feel like just because things have not worked out the way you want them to, things will. Eventually, things will pan out, um, okay? And part of that regret, regret and disappointment, you could be disappointed in someone that you know could have regret. So a lot of things are going to start shaping up for you, definitely because of that Ace of Pentacles and that Fool card and that Three of Cups. Yes, we already know. Here with the Ten of Michaels, Ten of Swords, talks about a situation ends. Isn't that beautiful? A difficult situation has ended, and if you're finally going to be free from this mental strain, okay, <laughs> it tells us to put the past behind us. So I definitely feel like that is something that, um, you know, all of us could actually appreciate here. So we're going to go ahead and get some cards from, oh, let's just take this one. Oh, the chariot. What does it say? Here the chariot talk about, talks about success that comes from dedication and self-discipline, celebrating accomplishments. So I definitely feel that you guys are going to be, as far as the career, there's something with career here that I feel like you guys are going to be um, really heavy in and be very um, uh, successful with, okay? I'm not sure why I see, I feel new career, getting a lot of recognition, promotions, things of that nature, Cancer. So let's go ahead and get some more cards here for you. We're trying to see if anything else is going to fall out. Yes, it did. <laughs> this one did. I'm not going to take these. Here, it talks about the star. This is your wish. This is your dream. It says, look to the future with hope and optimism. Okay. And it says relief from challenging times. And this is what I was just talking about. So you definitely see, you know, going into 2020, there's going to be some fresh things. 
um, that you guys are going to be feeling, not having the same situation. Remember, the world card talks about completion. So a lot of you guys are completing all of that stuff that you've dealt with. That's over and done. That's completed. Moving on to a new cycle and new things. Let's go ahead. Oh, this is just too many. So let's go ahead and just pull from the top. Here we have the two of springs. This is a, a bright future manifest through hard work and creativity and also talks about partnership, okay, with other people. Last one, queen of summer. Here, listen to your heart and, and learn to be intuitive. Let's just get one more here, Cancer. Here, this is the five of summers, again, with the five of cups. Trust that there is a reason for everything that happens and remove yourself from, you know, negative comments, negative people, okay? So, yeah, here, isn't it amazing that these last few cards talked about removing Moving yourself from anything negative and um, being able to let go of things because you're moving into a more peaceful cycle here. So yeah, this is amazing, Cancer. So this is what I have for you. Um, I hope you guys have a good New Year's and I will see you guys next year. Love you guys. Bye.